Today we're going to work on chapter 4.4, Exponential and Logarithmic, Logarithmic Equations. We're going to talk about how to use like basis to solve exponential equations, as well as how to use logs to solve. We're going to use the definition of a log to solve log equations, and use one-to-one -one one -one property of logs to solve log equations. So, move, move. no, go bye-bye, go bye-bye. I'm sorry, I'm talking to my cat. Go bye-bye. Mommy's busy. Go bye-bye. All right, so solving exponential equations by expression each side as a power of the same base. So if you have b to the m power is equal to b to the nth power, then m is equal to n. So you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to, if you have the same base, you're going to set the exponents equal to each other and solve for the variable. So in this first problem, we have 5 to the 3x minus 6 is equal to 125. As you can see, we do not have the same base. However, we can change this 125 to be 5 to the third power, because 5 to the third power is 125. Now we have the same base, and what we can do is we can set the exponents equal to each other and solve for the variable. So in this case, I'll add 6 to both sides. I get 3x is equal to 9. Divide everything by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, for this next problem we have 8 to the x plus 2 is equal to 4 to the x minus 3. So we don't have the same base, but we can change both of these bases in this case. So we know 2 to the third power is 8. So I'm going to put 2 to the third in parentheses. I'm going to put x plus 2. And I know 2 squared would give me 4. And next to it, I'm going to put the x minus 3. So now we have the same base. I'll set the exponents equal to each other. So when I multiply it out, I get 3x plus 6 is equal to 2x minus 6. I'll subtract 6 from both sides. I get 3x is equal to 2 minus 12. Subtract 2x from both sides. I get x is equal to negative 12. This next problem is a U-try problem. You can try this on your own. The answer is x is equal to 4. So now we're going to talk about how to use logarithms to solve exponential equations. The first thing you're going to do is isolate the exponential expression. Take the common log on both sides of the equation for base 10. Take the natural log on both sides of the equation for bases other than 10 and simplify using one of the following properties. So if you have the natural log of b raised to the x, we know that's x times the natural log of b. If you have the natural log of e to the x, we know that's x. And log 10x is equal to x. The next thing we'll do is we'll solve for the variable. So in this problem, we're going to express the solution set in terms of natural logs or common logs. And then we're going to do an approximation using your calculator. So in this problem, we have the natural log, I'm sorry, we have 5 to the x is equal to 134. So I'm going to use this property here. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Using the property that, property that I just wrote, this would be x ln to the fifth, uh, sorry, ln 5 is equal to the natural log of 134. To get x by itself, I'll divide everything by the natural log of 5. So this cancels out. This gives me x equal to the natural log of 134 over the natural log of 5. When you do this in your calculator, you're going to round to three decimal places. So this is the approximated answer. This is the log answer. For the next one, we have 3e to the 5x is equal to 1977. So what I'll do here is I'm going to isolate the exponential expression. And I'll do that by dividing everything by 3. So this gives me e raised to the 5x is equal to 659. 
So now I'm going to use this property. I'm going to take the natural log of each side. And I know that the natural log of E raised to the 5x is 5x. This is equal to the natural log of 659. So now to get x by itself, I divide everything by 5. So x is equal to the natural log of 659 divided by 5. Okay, the next one is solve e to the 2x minus 3e to the x plus 2 equal to 0. So in this problem, I'm going to replace e to the x with u. When I do that, I get u squared minus 3u plus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor this. I need to find two numbers that when I multiply, I get 2. And when I add, I get negative 3. And that would be negative 1 and negative 2. So this is u minus 2 times u minus 1 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to set each one of these equal to 0 and solve for u. I get u is 2 and u is 1. So now what I'll do is I'm going to change this u back to e to the x. So this will be e to the x is equal to 2. This will be e to the x is equal to 1. So now in order to solve for x, what I'll do is I'm going to use this property again, the natural log of e to the x is x. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. For this one, I get x is equal to the natural log of 2. So that's one answer. Here, when I take the natural log, this will be natural log of 1. This will be x. The natural log of 1 is 0. So if it comes out to be a whole number, that's what you use. So in this case, 0 is a whole number. If When you take the natural log of 2, you'll get a decimal. So don't bother with the decimal. Just leave it as a natural log. So I'll have you do this problem. The answer here is x is equal to the natural log of 3. You'll get another answer it'll be x is equal to the natural log of negative 1. The thing is, you cannot take the natural logs of negative numbers. Okay, so make sure you, you see that negative number. So if you get, when you get negative 1, you cannot, it would not be an answer. This would be considered no solution, so you won't even uh, entertain it. So the only answer is x is equal to the natural log of 3. Alright, so now we're going to talk about use, using the definition of a log to solve log equations. We're going to express the equation in the form of log base b m equal to c. And then we're going to use the definition of a log to rewrite the equation in exponential form. So log base b m equal to c means b to the c power is equal to m. We're going to solve for the variable. In this case, you do have to check your answers. So, m has to be greater than 1. So, in other words, any, sorry, greater than 0. So, in other words, any number that produces the log of a negative number or the log of 0 must be rejected. So, in the, in the following problems, we will check our answers. So, in this first one, we have log base 2, x minus 4 is equal to 3. We're going to write, rewrite it so it's b to the c is equal to l. So this will be 2 cubed equal to x minus 4. We know 2 cubed is 8. I'll add 4 to both sides to get x by itself. I get x is 12. Uh, before I circle that, I should have checked the answer. And this one checks out because when you plug 12 back in for x, you get 8. 
so you're not taking the log of a negative number so you're good on that and if you verify it with your calculator it should be equal to 3 so use calc to verify so what you'll do is you'll type this part into your calculator to see if it's equal to 3 the next one is log base 5 x minus 7 is equal to 2 this will be 5 squared equal to x minus 7 that's 25 is equal to x minus 7 add 7 to both sides I get x is 32 make sure you check your answers I'm going to plug 32 back in for x we want to know if that's equal to 2 this is log base 5 32 minus 7 is 25 and this checks out this is a question mark so the log base 5 25 is 2 Once, use your calculator to verify the next one we have log x plus log x minus 3 is equal to 1 we are going to use the product rule here because we have an addition we have an addition problem so this is going to be log x times x minus 3 equal to 1. Now I'm going to use this rule to go ahead and rewrite it. So when you see log with no base, the base is actually 10. So this would be 10 to the first power is equal to x times x minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and multiply out the parentheses. That will be x squared minus 3x is equal to 10 and then I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides to get 0 on one side and now I'm going to factor I need to find two numbers then when I multiply I get negative 10 and when I add I get negative 3 that would be negative 5 and 2 this factors into x minus 5 x plus 2 equal to 0 To solve for x, we are going to set each factor equal to 0. I get x is equal to 5, and I get x is equal to negative 2. You must check your answers. I will tell you that x equal to 5 is not is a solution, but when you check x is equal to negative 2, what happens is when you plug negative 2 back in, <coughs> you're going to get these uh, negative numbers but once again you cannot take the log of a negative number so this part here is no solution okay the next one is log base 6 x plus 5 plus log base 6 x is equal to 2 once again I'm going to use the product rule to rewrite this then I'm going to rewrite it I get x oops let me scroll down a little bit I get x squared plus 5x is equal to 36 subtract 36 from both sides and factor two numbers that multiply to give me negative 36 and add to give me 5 would be 9 and negative 4. I'll set each one equal to 0. I get x is negative 9 and x is 4. So we're going to do a check. I will tell you that x equal to 4 is a solution because when you floor, put 4 back in you won't have any logs of negative numbers. However when you do negative 9 you're going to get these negative you have to take the negative log the log of a negative number so this one will not work and if you actually checked it with your calculator your calculator won't calculate it you should get an error message so this is no solution for x is equal to negative 9 will not work the only solution is x is equal to 4 this is a U try problem. Uh, the answer here would be 5 fourths. You'll get another answer, but it will not work.
The other answer is x is equal to negative 1. This will not work. All right, so now let's look at log base 2x plus 2 minus log base 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Since we have a minus sign, we're going to use a, the quotient rule. So this will be log base 2x plus 2 over x minus 5 equal to 3. This would be 2 cubed is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 5. I know 2 cubed is equal to 8. So basically I want to get rid of this fraction. To get rid of this fraction I need to multiply by the denominator. And I have to do that on both sides. Okay, so these are cancel out. So I'm left with x times x mi 8 times x minus 5 is equal to x plus 2. This would be 8x minus 40 is equal to x plus 2. Subtract 4 from both sides. Sorry, subtract x from both sides. I get 7x minus 40 is equal to 2. And then I'll add 40 to both sides. I get 7x is equal to 42. Divide everything by 7, x is 6. Make sure to check your answer. This one actually works out. Because when I plug it back in, I get log 2, base 2. When I plug in, I get 8 here. And then, oops, minus log base 2, I get 1 here. And that should be equal to 3. So use your calculator to verify. For the most part, um, anytime you get a negative number, it won't work. And, well, no, I won't, I'll, I'll change that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> the next one is log base 4x plus 2 minus log base 4x minus 1. This is log base 4. I'm going to use the quotient rule again. I'll rewrite it. And then I need to get rid of the uh, fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 1. So this will be 4 times x minus 1 is equal to x plus 2. I multiply this out. Go ahead and subtract x from both sides. I get 3x minus 4 is equal to 2. And then add 4 to both sides. I get 3x is equal to 6. Divide everything by 3. I get x is equal to 2. Must check your answers when I check this one. You get log 4, 4 minus log 4. Uh, 2 minus 1 is... So this checks out. So the answer is x is equal to 2. The next one we have the natural log x minus 3 is equal to the natural log of 7x minus 23 minus the natural log of x plus 1. So I'm going to use the quotient rule for this part right here. I get the natural log of 7x minus 23 over x plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to drop the natural logs. <coughs> I end up with x minus 3 is equal to 7x minus 23 over x plus 1. I want to get rid of this fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 1. I get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 7x minus 23 because these cancel out. So I'm going to subtract 7x and I'm going to add 23 to both sides. I get x squared minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. We're going to factor this. Two numbers that multiply to give me 20 add to give me negative 9. You get negative 4 and negative 5. Set each one equal to 0. I get x is 4 and x is 5. If you check these and both of these answers, when you do your check, both work. 
So they don't produce any type of negative numbers. They don't produce a number where you have to take the log of a negative number. So both of these work. And then the last one, the natural log of x minus 4 plus the natural log of x plus 1 is equal to the natural log of x minus 8. Since we have addition, I'm going to use the product rule. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop the logs. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. This is x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to x minus 8. I'll subtract 8 and, sorry, I'll subtract x and add 8 to both sides. So I get x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Two numbers that multiply to give me 4 and add to give me negative 4 will be x minus 2, x minus 2. Since the factors are both the same, I only need to set 1 equal to 0 x minus 2 is equal to 0, I get x is equal to 2. Now when I check this one, since we only have one, solu uh, one possible solution here, so when I plug 2 back in, as you can see I get these negative numbers. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, this is 3, this is negative 6. So this will not work because you cannot take natural logs of negative numbers. So since 2 was the only possible solution and it does not work, this answer would be no solution. Okay, that's the end of this lecture.